Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. You know, um, we do shows from time to time about things. Sorry, dude. What the hell? I guess I should have turned that off. Oh, you know who it is? It's my best friend, Scam Likely. <laughs> Sorry, do you get a lot of spam calls? Yeah, <laughs> I do. Me too. On this show, we're going to talk about 10 tips for ending robocalls, junk mail, and more. Can you believe? Ooh. Right as we're going to do the show. The Perfect forward. timing. It's Thank next you. on Men Are So Smart. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ryan. If you're like me, and I know I am, you get a lot of robocalls, you get a lot of junk mail, and much, much more. Yeah. In fact, the Federal Trade Commission launched a national do not call registry in the year 2003. And since that time, some 230 million phone numbers have been registered on the service. Registration is free and can be done by visiting the website or by calling the number you see on the screen from the phone number you wish to register. The Federal Trade Commission promises that you will get fewer telemarketing calls within 31 days of registering registering your number. Not none, right? but fewer. Fewer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the next tip here is to fight fire with fire. Okay, I'm ready. Automatic computer-dialed phone calls, also known as robocalls, can be blocked by using the same type of technology that enables them. Consumers can sign up for a free service called No Mo Robo. I love it. No Mo. Uh, if they have a landline that uses voice over IP technology, uh, the service works by intercepting caller ID information and then hanging up on the robo calls. So you might hear one ring before the call is disconnected. Yeah, I wish I could be that lucky. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it always happens at the wrong time. When you're right in the middle of something. And the thing is, you know, I never talk on my phone. Right. I just don't. You text. And if you call me, I'm probably not going to answer unless there's an emergency and I'm, you know, in the middle of it or something. But um, so when my phone rings, it's like, who in the hell is calling me? Right. I don't talk on the phone. You want me? Text me. That's how you get it. All right. So fight fire with fire. Next up, download an app. Although the federal government has made it illegal for robocallers to target mobile phones without first receiving consent, yet that hasn't stopped unscrupulous scam artists from scam likely from hitting your cell with automated calls. To fight back against the onslaught of calls to your smartphone, there are a number of apps available for download. True Caller is a caller ID and spam blocking app to help you block unwanted calls and texts. Robo Killer available for iPhone, claims to reduce unwanted calls by up to 90% Ooh. in 30 days. And Call Control, which is available for Android, stops junk calls and texts from getting through to you. Wow, nice. Uh, next thing you can do is check with your service provider. Uh, many local telephone service providers offer a free or low-call service called Anonymous Call Rejection. ACR. Uh, to block unknown or hidden numbers. Some ACR systems force callers to reveal their identity by stating a name or entering caller ID information. Service can usually be activated by calling your local telephone company. Now, my service through our phones is through AT&T. AT&T has an app like that. And instead of my caller ID says likely scam, AT&T likely scam call and immediately just hit, you know, ignore. Yeah. You notice how the calls that you get when you look at the number always kind of resemble your own phone yes. number? Yes, yeah. That's really strange. Yep. Um, and they do that because they think, well, maybe that's... They'll think it's local. Yeah. Yep. Um, no. Just a scam. Yep. All right, next up on our list, junk mail. Sign in to opt out. Pre-screen credit card offers and insurance sales pitches are the bane of your postal carrier's existence, and they don't do anyone any good taking up space on the entryway console. You can choose to opt out of these online offers by calling 888-5-OPT-OUT 
or by sending a written request to each of the major consumer credit reporting agencies, Equifax, Experian, Innovis, and TransUnion. Keep in mind, in order to successfully opt out, you will need to provide certain confidential information, including your home telephone number, name, social security, and date of birth. As soon as you say social security, I become leery. Yeah, eh, not so much. Not, not a fan. Uh, next one is for your home mailing address. Uh, this is with Direct Marketing Association. You can decide what mail you do and do not want to receive for up to 10 years. Uh, there's a small processing fee of two bucks, which is reasonable if you well, don't like... Well, can you make payments? <laughs> do they accept food stamps? Oh, better. Or government cheese. Will they take government cheese as payment? Only if it's wrapped. Uh, alternatively, you can register by mail by sending a signed request with your name and address along with a $3 processing fee. Hey, now it's up to five bucks. You're just sucking me dry. <laughs> Contact the companies directly, friends. If catalogs are clogging your mailbox, and God knows they are, the best way to cut the clutter is to contact the sender directly. Uh, an office phone number is usually listed directly on the catalog. Catalogs are expensive to produce and mail. Therefore, most companies will take you off their mailing lists so that you don't waste their marketing dollars on an uninterested party. Makes sense. Uh, next, fill out a form. So the U.S. Post Office has strict guidelines regulating certain types of mail, particularly sexually orientated uh, advertising, which is my favorite to get. Uh, to prevent or stop receiving sexually explicit mail, fill out the uh, form from Post Office, PS Form 1500, you can block specific senders or all mail with sexual content. Use your spam filter, Mark. <laughs> and all email programs come with some special version of a filter to block unwanted junk mail or spam. Spam, 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 spam. <laughs> when you get an unsolicited email, highlight the message and create a rule identifying it as spam. These steps involve differ by email platform uh, but generally speaking, your spam filter should get smarter over time and block more and more of the messages you don't want to see. I've noticed that. It's it's called a smartphone for a reason. Right. It senses trends. You know, and by law, if, if any mail, honestly, uh, except for person-to-person -person mail, but any mail from a company has to have an unsubscribe uh, link right. at the bottom of the email. Mm -hmm. And so when I start getting too much email, because... I do occasionally. I sign up for a contest for something to win a you know a free shirt or a free Corvette or whatever. And boy, as soon as you do that, you're on the list and you start getting daily emails. Go down to the bottom, hit unsubscribe, and within about three days, they're gone. They Gonzo. don't come back. Yep. Uh, next one, just say no. Yeah, let's end with this one. You do not give out your home phone number, your cell phone number, email address, or any other personal information to businesses. Uh, it's too late to go back in time and get your information from all the vendors, services, and businesses you've ever worked with. So you can request to be removed from telephone, mail, and email list from companies that you have done business with in the past. Uh, keep a record of your requests and file complaints with the Federal Trade Commission and the Better Business Bureau if a company continues to pester you. I think in California it's illegal. It is illegal, and you can actually win a settlement from these companies if they continue to do it. So, Okay. Quick and easy show today. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Today, no more robo. No, we got to get rid of those. Hey, hey, you saw my phone right at the top of the episode go off. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our show today, we hope you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, that's important to YouTube. They like to see a lot of likes. Uh, also, subscribe to our show. It's easy and it's free. Yep. You just click that red box that says subscribe. Right next to it, there's a bell. Uh, not a Taco Bell. That's on the other Oh, room. man. I it's love where that. the church, old church used to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you click that bell, you'll get notifications each time a new show comes out. Or you can just call Lou and he'll tell you when the next show is coming out. So his number will be at the bottom here in a minute. <laughs> there it is, right there. That's my number. <laughs> call it. I dare you. I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ron. This has been another episode, a spam filled episode <laughs> of Men Are So Smart. Spam, 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 Later. spam, 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 spam. I'll have your spam. I love it. <laughs> <laughs>